Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. This video is all about the Kunwu Knives Mini Tao. I think you guys have actually seen me talk about this knife in a couple of my previous videos. I've had this guy since June this year, so it's been about three almost four months that I had this and in a nutshell I procured this via a Kickstarter campaign and I backed this up for about 133 Singapore dollars which equates to just about 100 US dollars and in videos like this especially for review videos I generally start with an unboxing so yeah well I have the box here take this as the unboxing guys I don't want to pack it in because it's quite straightforward but check it out the Kunwu mini towel arrives in a box like this this is a cardboard box with some gold pattern here which is very nicely applied I must say I've not seen a box with this sort of pattern it looks quite premium in my opinion and then it has the Kunwu Knives logo here in a sort of a holographic foil and on the back you guys already kind of saw this little sticker here the mini towel model number K703S by Kunwu Knives and there is some writing here in a pencil it says I, I think this looks like a number 141 and so yeah that's that that's the externals of the box now we open up the box by lifting off the lid and you will be greeted with a very nice very very nice knife pouch it's nicely lined on the inside so that's really soft and smooth it will not scratch up your knives and you know it's got a drawstring closure and under that you have a thank you card you have a cleaning cloth with the Kunwu knives logo and this isn't embossed or anything it looks to be just printed on and yeah this knife comes in this thin plastic bag and was seated in this area here that was cut out of the foam so basically that's the unboxing experience guys it's quite straightforward now i'm gonna just put the box aside and let's talk about the knife first of all guys you could see that it is a front flipper or i should say it's a dual flipper it's got a back flipper and a front flipper so the first thing i'm gonna do is just deploy the knife yeah guys i've been practicing a little bit but yeah now that the knife is deployed let's talk about the specs here we go the blade steel is m390 and the scales are made in titanium and they feature this textured kind of finish and in order for me to be a little bit more detailed about the texture here it is very close to what is known as an orange peel finish although it looks more like leather i know that's really strange i don't actually know how to describe this textured finish but yeah it's like leather yet it's a little bit like orange peel finish but all in all basically it offers a nice amount of grip and it definitely feels very nice and the scale both on the show side and on the lock side feature all around chamfering but the areas that are chamfered wider have another sort of texture here these actually look like diagonal machine lines but they do have a very nice texture to them and basically the whole thing is very very well finished and it is very nice to the touch there are no sharp edges there are no burrs or anything and i think that that's really well done there is a pivot collar here and it looks like timascus but reading up from the kickstarter page apparently this is anodized titanium and i gotta be honest i don't know what kind of sorcery this is but it definitely looks looks like flamed timascus and i'm not complaining it has a very very nice pop of color to the knife overall at the end of the scale is the kunwu knives logo very very nicely applied here instead of applying it on the blade itself and i personally think that's a great choice so yeah kudos to the designer very very nicely executed and of course in that general area we have the backspacer this is a single backspacer it's not two separate pieces and it's got some jimping here to offer you a little bit more grip although i don't know why there's going to be jimping here if your pocket clip kind of protrudes out this way and then of course you have a blue anodized standoff now the reason why they have a standoff here is because this area serves as your lanyard loop or your lanyard slot if you want to add a lanyard turning it around to the lock side we have a deep carry pocket clip which is guys reversible so you could have this either on the left or right side but the only thing is that this offers you a tip up carry only this is a true deep carry pocket clip the entire knife is going to be concealed in your pocket very very nicely i love that also the screw slot for the pocket clip is a recessed slot so the screw is never going to snag on your pocket whenever you are inserting or removing the knife from your pocket and i like that that's really really well done moving up we see a custom pivot pin and then let's talk about the lock bar it features a lock bar insert made of steel because you know titanium on steel is not always a good thing and the lock bar insert also doubles up as the over travel stopper now let's move on to the blade i mentioned to you guys that this is made in m390 now you could see some of the markings here the mini towel the model number first production number 141 or 400 so now yeah this number here 141 makes sense it is all serialized guys i'm sorry i really didn't pay attention to that part so that's my bad but yeah you have the m390 marking here now the next thing that i will mention is that the blade is a drop point style blade and it features a full flat grind 
very very nicely done now, on the spine of the blade is some jimping here and this is really comfortable as well it does not have any sharp edges it doesn't bite now the next thing that i like and i want to point out is that the flipper tab on the back so the back flipper let me just show it to you guys the back flipper here it protrudes out but once you deploy it i love the fact that the back flipper becomes part of the overall aesthetic of the knife as well also i will make sure to add other specs on the side of the screen things like the blade length the overall length the close length things like that what i really want to talk to you guys about is the reason why i took so long to make this review now i backed this up sometime in march of this year on kickstarter and the initial delivery date was slated to be april 2021 but of course you know as with every single kickstarter campaign as a backer you should always prepare for any sort of delays and i eventually received this knife sometime in early june now for the campaign there were actually two sizes of this same knife there was the kunwu tau and the mini tau and one of the key factors that i look at when i purchase a knife is of course the overall design and aesthetic of a knife this thing really looks very very nice to me i love the design aesthetic i love everything about it i love the materials I I love the price point and with that said the next biggest factor in my books is the overall size of the knife now the towel featured a three and a half inch blade length but the mini towel here features a 2.36 inch blade and the thing is i know that my sweet spot is around the three inch mark so i thought you know what i'm just gonna try getting the mini towel instead because you know it's like two 0.3 inches and when it finally arrived i was like wait this this is actually kind of small because of the size guys i mean okay first of all right the design is really good and before i get too far into this story let me remind you again i'm telling you why i took so long to make this review and that's because after physically receiving this and actually physically handling it i felt that i needed more time yeah it's kind of like a love-hate relationship and believe me i carried this for a bit i carried this for a solid month but i still didn't feel that confident to talk about this thing because of the sheer size of it and the reason why the size is such an important factor is because this is both a front flipper and a back flipper guys you guys saw well i'll show it to you now whenever i'm trying to deploy the knife by using the back flipper i'm actually applying a lot of pressure on the back here just to make sure that the knife doesn't slip out of my hand i don't feel very secure using the back flipper in this orientation you know, uh, let me just give you an example. So I have the Elementum here and the Elementum features more of a traditional flipper tab where you kind of just kind of yeah, push it down like that. And the overall size of the Elementum, of course, is a lot more comfortable because it's larger. So I am able to get a more comfortable grip. My fingers actually feel less uh, stressed. I, I mean, I'm just thinking of a word, guys, for lack of a better way to explain it. My fingers feel a little bit less stressed when I'm holding or experiencing or using the Elementum. And the flipper tab just works like any standard flipper tab does. But for the mini towel, see, I'm struggling to get some kind of purchase, especially leaning in the palm of my hand here like that. So for the mini towel, I kind of can't do that because if I do that, it's just too difficult for my index finger to reach over to the back flipper. And because of this grip, my middle finger and fourth finger are applying too much pressure on the lock bar. So this thing feels really, really stiff. In order for me to do that, I have to hold it with just the tip of my fingers. That's all five fingers, by the way, and make sure that I don't apply pressure on the lock bar, just along the scale itself, or maybe maybe my ring finger or my fourth finger can be pressing on this pocket clip here. Then, I could deploy this but it feels kind of weird it feels like this thing just might accidentally slip out of my grip when i'm deploying it and then naturally the next point goes to the front flipper now about the front flipper i think that it is designed and applied very well but once again it's an issue of the overall size of the knife now you guys have seen me handle the kaiser feist i regret not taking out the feist right now but what i was trying to say is that for the kaiser feist it felt very comfortable deploying the knife using the front flipper whereas for this mini towel because of its sheer size i still struggle to kind of find that sweet spot every single time well i've been trying and i've been practicing it's just that sometimes when i grab it due to the sheer size of it it kind of feels very little in my hand so like i struggle to get it into a position that is comfortable for me to make sure that i'm not pressing down on the lock bar at all plus being able to get a good i guess you could call this like a good grip right or a good placement on the front flipper and then 
with that right action kind of flip it open like that and i'm really able to fully deploy the knife with the front flipper without the use of at least a little bit of a wrist flick and i always find myself flicking this a little bit but when i get it that opening is really authoritative and that actually feels very satisfying it's just that for me you know i really have to make sure that i'm holding this the right way and then getting that deploying action apart from that guys actually the action is pretty good i i have to say this thing has some really solid action overall it's really smooth like no complaints there but because you know it's small and it's light this isn't drop shutty by any means but i think i think i could wiggle it shut let me just try it yep I could wiggle it shut. Uh, by the way, guys, I got to make a disclaimer. I've never, ever taken this apart. I've never opened it up. I've not cleaned it or whatever. So this has been in stock form ever since the day I received it. The only thing I did to this was to wipe off any excess lubrication. But apart from that, guys, nothing else. That action, that snappy thing, that's right out of the box. And I've never adjusted any screw, any pivot whatsoever. And look at the blade centering, guys. The blade centering is still spot on. This is a really, really well done, really well executed, really well built knife with very good fit and finish. Uh, I don't know what else I can say about this except the fact that I feel that for that price point that I paid, 133 Singapore dollars, I should just tell you guys that it's about 100 US dollars. I think that for everything that you're getting in this knife, that's totally good value the only thing i wish was that maybe there could be like a, a one size up like a medium towel then maybe it would be a lot more i guess comfortable for me so yeah guys it took me a long while for me to really get used to it and then you know feel comfortable enough with this to tell you guys about my experience with this and to kind of give you my overall thoughts and opinions on this. Now, with all of that said, let's talk about the ergonomics. It is a small knife. It is small, it is sleek. Now, it doesn't feel chunky. It doesn't feel uh, secure. I hate to say that, I hate to admit that, but it doesn't feel that secure. The best way I can describe this is that it feels like a thin sliver of metal that sits in my hand like that. There's nothing that touches this part of my palm. So that's all I got, that's all I got. My pinky finger barely touches the scale and if i rest my thumb up here it's not even touching any of the jimping so uh yeah if i change it to the pointer grip it's also not really touching the jimping see jimping's up here my index fingers right here if i move back then yeah maybe if i move this back and i hold it like that then yeah maybe but if i hold it this way it feels a lot less secure as well so yeah uh, i'm not gonna be able to do any kind of fine work if i hold it like that i'd rather hold it this way and have my thumb up here this feels like i have a lot more control now see guys i just barely shifted it if you wanted to know what the main difference was my index finger was always sitting at the finger choil here the main choil area and then i could either just grab it like that where this part of the knife is kind of tilted a little bit more towards my palm and i hold the knife like that or if i talk it inwards like that and make sure that it rests against this part of my fingers then i could squeeze all my fingers here for this grip now this is a sharpening choil and not a finger choil there's no way that your finger is going to sit there comfortably because this area here is smooth guys so don't take the risk don't take the risk don't put your finger there because if you slip forward you're going to cut yourself right there so yeah that's the grip on this knife guys the mini towel now let's go for the reverse grip and in the reverse grip guys surprisingly this is actually a lot more comfortable than holding this in the standard hammer grip like that the reverse grip actually feels really really comfortable like this finger choil here it feels like it's made perfectly for my pinky finger wait why am i holding it in such a weird way let me hold it in a way that you guys can actually see so as i was saying pinky finger right here it feels comfortable it feels perfect and then all my other fingers just wrap around it and see how this raised part of the pocket clip just goes right in between my middle and fourth fingers that's completely out of the way. Now my index finger wraps around the pocket clip area and so this results in a very, very comfortable reverse grip. I dare say that out of all the knives that I have, the mini towel provides the most comfortable reverse grip. So yeah, it's all these little things guys that uh, make me really think about how I wanted to share this review to you guys. So I am on the fence. Well, I think it's great value for money. Uh, personally, this isn't going to be my favorite knife, but 
you know, after carrying this for a solid month and then kind of rotating it for another two months, this is a great knife to have with me. Say, for example, if I have a small pouch or if I'm going for a really light carry, but this is not going to be like my EDC beater knife, like nothing so far. Oh man, I missed that. Nothing so far, as I was saying, is able to topple the number one spot in my list, which is the Para 3. But yeah, basically that's it. That's my thoughts on the Mini Tau. It's made of great materials. It's got a wonderful, awesome fit and finish. This thing has never been opened up. Still is snappy. Great action. Front flipper works well. Back flipper works well. Just that it doesn't feel very secure when you're deploying it with the back flipper. It's got a nice pop of color, both on the pivot collar as well as that standoff at the lanyard slot. Deep carry pocket clip, reversible on both sides. Tip up carry. I'm impressed in some areas of this and not so impressed in others mainly because of the overall experience in terms of the ergonomics. Now, I don't know if I will enjoy the full-size Tau simply because I made that active choice, right? That I wasn't going to get a knife featuring a blade that was longer than three and a half inches. So with that said, let's give you guys a quick size comparison and I'm going to take out the, in my opinion, the most common or I guess the most easily accessible folding pocket knives out there. So first of all, you guys already saw this is the Elementum by Civivi and this is the standard Elementum size guys not the button lock version not the mini I don't even know what size the mini is but it definitely does look very appealing to me it's not the fixed blade it's not the Tanto it is just a standard Elementum the next knife I'm going to bring out is the QSP Penguin and you could see that the Tau is actually a lot smaller than both the Elementum and the Penguin next I'm going to bring in of course the Para 3 and yeah, with this, the Para 3, this is the Para 3 lightweight, but in terms of the overall size, it is the same as any other Para 3 out there. So the Para 3 and the Penguin are roughly in the same size range, which is making the Mini Tau look really, really small. Next is a Victorinox Classic SD. Now I'm going to put the Para 3 aside and bring in the Stubby. And I thought it would be interesting to bring in the Braza Bro or the Mini Braza Bro. Braza Bro Mini. The Braza Mini Bro. The Braza... I don't know what this is called because the name keeps getting interchanged. I don't know if it's a mini Braza Bro or is this just the Braza Bro or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, uh, you know, this makes it look slightly larger than the Braza Bro. And this thing's actually meant to be literally a keychain folding pocket knife. So overall size of this is actually really small. But when you compare it to the mini Tau, they look like they're almost in the same size range, right? So yeah, uh, this really truly is mini. And now I guess I'm kind of hoping that they will come up with possibly an M-sized Tau, like a medium Tau, because this thing actually looks really good. I love it for the way it looks. I love it for its action. I love it for the materials, the fit and finish, the build quality and everything. I just don't love it that much for the overall experience of it because yeah, it's just doesn't feel that substantial in hand and I always feel very fearful whenever I'm deploying the knife. Yeah, that's it. That's my experience and overall thoughts on the Mini Tao by Kunwoo Knives. And yeah, guys, I know it's been a while since I made content that is related to folding pocket knives and I must humbly apologize, but I do have my reasons why. And uh, maybe, maybe when I feel comfortable enough, I'll make a video and share with you guys all about why that's the case. But for now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that this gave you a bit more insight and a little bit more information about the Kunmu Knives Mini Tau. This little knife that I really love but yet don't love that much that I've been spending some good quality time with for the past three months. Oh man, I don't know what I'm doing guys. I'm just messing with the stubby. Sorry, I'm going to push that out of the frame. Guys, if you've liked the video so far, I hope that you will consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hello there. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing, especially if you like the sort of content that I'm putting out. But if I did not earn your sub today, that's okay. I promise I will continue working on the quality of my content and hopefully one day I will earn that sub. Another great way to support the channel is over on Patreon. I'll put a link up here to that if you want to check it out. We have Patreon exclusive content as well as Patreon exclusive giveaways from time to time. So if you do become a patron of mine, thank you so much in advance. It really means a lot to me. Once again, guys, this is the Mini Tau by Kunwoo Knives. And I will catch all of you in my next slice. Bye.